Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Harlem Championship Wrestling and back to the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. I'm the engine Brock Gordon, and we have another stat card for you here tonight, including the matchup between Cold Storm and Hot Stuff Austin Star. And we get things kicked off here with El Guapo. And she'll make her debut here in HCW. And she'll be taking on none other than the HCW Women's Champion, our very own Destiny Diamond. And here she comes. She won the title at the Great American Battle Royal. She's ready to go. Destiny Diamond from the Diamond Spire in Charlotte, North Carolina. Home of such wrestlers as Ric Flair. And of course, Charlotte Flair. And the home of Jim Crockett Promotions. All those which got Destiny wanting to become a professional wrestler. She's been a professional for Four years now and has made her way here to Heartland Championship Wrestling. And she looks ready to go. And she'll take on El Guapo here. Which translates to the cat. So she's ready. Destiny Diamond's ready. If not a little bit mad that she's put in such inferior competition. This ring and they lock up. And Guapo takes control of the wrist. Reversal by Diamond. Nice leg takedown there. And we'll go back to work again. Diamond takes control. Nice snap suplex right there. Destiny takes control. A nice swinging neck breaker. Well done. She'll go to the cover off the neck breaker. One. Only the one count there. Guapo takes control and a snap suplex. Takes the champion off her feet. Nice forearm right there. Now Guapo is still in control. Nice flying clothesline. Picks her up. Nice forearm again. Several forearm shots right here. Oh, and a nice. Astro Scissor Whip, well done there by El Guapo. El Guapo is fully in control of this matchup right now. Kick to the gut. Big DDT. And again, we'll go for that nice head scissors takedown. Oh, the reversal by Diamond, however. She picks her up. And a Hurricane Rana. Well done there by Destiny Diamond. Oh, reversed by El Guapo. And the drop kick connects. And the reversal again by Destiny Diamond. Back elbow connects. And a neck breaker. Nice stomp right there as well. And another Hurricane Rana. And the drop kick connects. Of course, whenever Destiny's in the ring, you got to worry about that devastating Destiny's calling. Picks up El Guapo. Misses super kick right to the gut. And a kick to the gut and it looks to be another DDT. Beautifully done by El Guapo. Stomp to the arm. Nice chop right across the chest. And a gun right there. Picks her back up. Drop kick connects. And Destiny is in a bad way right now. Here against El Guapo. Nice suplex and right back into the ring. Picks her up. And a side rush and leg sweep. 
the champion has been in deep trouble so far this matchup pretty much the entire time no matter what she does she's severely behind in this and a Fez press Guapo is gassed but is surely making her presence felt in an elbow drop right there picks her up slowly and it's gonna be a neck breaker and reversal by destiny and she's gonna lay her out with a neck breaker of her own a little battle of the neck breakers oh that right hand dropped her oh what a move there by destiny and I think she's gonna go for the cover off of it she does indeed one two kick out at two by El Guapo Hurricane Rana Ooh, a kick to the gut evaded and a dragon screw for her troubles now Guapo has the full support of the crowd here and an alley-oop bomb oh Destiny back up on her feet however drop kick misses that one connected and here we go another drop kick off the ropes caught by El Guapo oh big backbreaker nice jumping form however connects spinning kick connects Oh, stomps on that and oh slams her head right in the mat she's setting her up for destiny's calling no the reversal by El Guapo who is really taking it to the champion here tonight knees right across the face and El Guapo get her back in the ring Destiny Diamond is in severe trouble here. Oh, the reversal. May have caught her in waiting. Let's control the head. And a nice suplex. There's nothing short. Than oh! Oh, here it is! Wow, what a job there by Destiny. I did not expect that out of nowhere. She's got that single leg Boston Crab locked in pretty tight. Now Guapo struggling. However, Destiny lets her go. Picks her up. Super kick to the gut. And that one sounded like it hurt. Now Bulldog. Going back to a little bit of the basics now. Hurricane Run. Drop kick connects. Big right hand by Destiny Diamond. And another neck breaker. She's on the comeback trail on the cover. One, two. That hasn't done enough to put her away yet. Destiny picks her up back elbow connects far off by El Guapo kick to the gut could it be oh my lord and she's looking to go for the cat scratch kick to the gut no my bad it's a oh there it is the cat scratch but she's not going for the cover off of it reversal by Destiny Diamond Kick to the gut, out here, oh! Nice pump handle side slam, and the cover, one, two, 
three, and Destiny survives a onslaught, but is able to pick up the victory here. As the HCW Women's Champion was in a very rough way. I thought she was going for Destiny's calling right there. It was reversed by El Guapo. And a nice showing by this youngster. I'm sure this will go far in the rankings for her and KCPW. And that, I thought she could have pinned her off that right there. However, it was this pump handle side slam. He was able to get the win and Destiny Diamond picks up the victory, folks. Up next, we have Colt Storm's match against Austin Starr from Los Angeles Professional Wrestling. Stick right with us. We'll be back after these messages. Gets him! Shot goes in! Rush to the front again. Score! Jenner, Jenner. Score! Jenner to leave him. Score! It's up one over the Manson. Manson, score! No, Giordano shot. Check it. Score! Brian! To Perron. Score! Over to Rust. Rust to shot. Score! Perron gets hit, gets over the rest, Rust SCORES! By himself, over Giordano, SHOT, SCORES! Hey, 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 Kansas City! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hollywood Havoc, where here comes HCW's Colt Storm. He's gonna have his blow-offs and, uh, he's going a little bit of a throwback. Here's, he's wearing his, your ticket to hell is coming to you. I got the bullet to give you the ride. T-shirt, a little throwback to 2019. Brett Lear was on the shelf with a knee injury. Old Storm was out by himself and he returns to Los Angeles professional wrestling to fight it off against Austin Starr once again. And which would be an excellent match in this no holds barred match here from the Fever Room, here in Los Angeles, California. The Colts already fired up to go. As he'll take on Austin Starr here. And here comes the wrestling champion. Their last encounter at the Great American Battle Royal, Austin Starr picked up the victory in a very hard-fought match between him and Cold Storm. And now they will do battle once again, this time at Hollywood Havoc here, Los Angeles Professional Wrestling. As if Cold Storm wins this match, it'll go to a third match at the upcoming AAW Super Show, Steel City Showdown. Austin, hot stuff, Austin Star is ready to go. There's Cold Storm, he's going no shirt for this match. There's hot stuff, he's ready. And we are underway. Chet Johnson, the referee for this match, signals for the bell to be rung. And Cold Storm going right after him. Nice move right there and a back suplex. Storm has him now. Nope, reversal by Hot Stuff. And he goes on the attack. The reversal by Storm. And now he's raining down the rights. Storm back in the cattleman's gun attire as he referred it. Oh, nice spine buster. We'll see if we'll if he will hit the cattleman's gun here in this matchup. I doubt it, but we never know with Colt anymore. 
Roll over neck breaker, beautifully done. Not too many that are better than Cold Storm when it comes to being an in-ring competitor. Here in the Alliance of American Wrestling as we're seeing it right here. As he already punched his ticket to March Madness with his tag team partner, Brett Lear. Now Austin Starr goes for the cover. And it's an easy kick out right there by Austin Starr. Hot stuff still on the attack. Has him and it's going to be a big chop across the chest. Off the ropes, no. Storm takes control for a big vertical suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you once again to Hollywood Havoc here in Los Angeles Professional Wrestling as HCW's Colt Storm makes his return to Los Angeles to take on his rival, the LAW champion, Hot Stuff Austin Star. These two have had a rivalry for a long time as Colt's bringing in the right hand. Oh, drops Austin Star. Right hand misses, and a reversal by Star, and that's all he needs. There is a reason he is the champion of LAW, and has been as he's going to go to work on that surgically repaired knee of Colt Storm. The cover, two, no, not even a two count. As I was saying, there's a reason Austin Star has been champion of Los Angeles professional wrestling for coming up on two years now. And a big forearm shiver by Colt right there. And the power slam right there. It could be all over. The cover. One, two. Kick out by Austin Starr at two. So the power slam didn't do it. As, oh, here it is. And he has, yes, it's the Cattleman's gun. It's locked in. Will Austin Starr tap out? He does. And Cold Storm comes into Los Angeles Professional Wrestling and defeats Austin Star. The submission victory. So our hats off to him as he'll head back to HCW. As I know he is very happy about that, getting a win over his longtime rival. And they'll face off at Steel City Showdown, folks. We'll be back to HCW action after these messages. Honesty, integrity, client confidentiality. These are just some of the things that you can expect here at Thought Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. Located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri. We are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll-free number. 800-298-3950 to schedule an appointment today because at Cot Counseling we care about our customers not about our customers money Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW. As what a win by Cold Storm busting out the old school last call gear. And with the Cattleman's gun picks up the victory over Hot Stuff Austin Star. They'll meet again at Steel City Showdown. Meanwhile, superstar Kyle Smoke is in the ring. As he's here ahead of KCPW's Kansas City Clash, which is coming up this week. But he's got a task against a man looking for some redemption in A.J. Dallas, the former blue chip prospect from the University of Memphis, is looking for a little bit of vengeance after losing to Scott Race for the Central States Heavyweight Championship. Great American Battle Royal. Yes, he's looking to get back in the win column here. He 
is ready to go as I've been informed at Steel City Showdown. Yes, in fact, it will be Last Call Cold Storm versus Austin Star in a Prison Riot match. CJ Dallas is ready to go. We'll take on Kyle Smoke right there as you saw. AJ Dallas is more than ready. Also at Steel City Showdown, I've been informed Scott Race will take on Matt Caliber for the AAW Championship. So, after that win at Memphis Massacre, he'll face off against the AAW Champion. As AJ Dallas is prepped and ready, he's gonna, he is taking it to Superstar Kyle Smoke immediately in this match. As folks, we are less than a month away now from HCW's March Madness. The cover by AJ Dallas as it'll be March 14th. HCW's March Madness will be March 14th from the Baxter Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. Definitely want to check that one out. Matches on that card. Evan Flynn versus JC Baker for the HCW Heavyweight Championship. For the tag team titles, we found out last week it's going to be the Royal Blues, who will take on the Fortunate Sons, who are in action later tonight for the HCW Tag Team titles. The Women's Championship will see Brooklyn Bell go one-on-one -on -one with Destiny Diamond, who we saw in action earlier tonight. Still undecided is the HCW Central States Heavyweight Championship match. We have no clue who will be facing off in that. We have to find out who will be challenging for the HCW YouTube Heavyweight Championship in that match as later on tonight we will have our open challenge as we do every HCW television taping nice pop up power slam right there by AJ Dallas and also still to come tonight as we mentioned the fortunate sons in action and tag team action following this matchup our main event for the HCW Heavyweight Championship, the cover by AJ Dallas won. Only the one captain here in HCW. And oh, nice slide through there by AJ Dallas. He's got the double leg. Boston Crab locked in. Star Kyle Smoke. Or my bad, not Superstar Kyle Smoke. So we're seeing him in adopt the more methodical ground-based offense here against Superstar Kyle Smoke. But since his loss to Scott Race, he's adopted this more ground-based style. He was on display at Memphis Massacre. So he took on fellow HCW superstar, Jesse Wilds. We are unfortunately not able to get you that match as both men are also signed to contracts to Tennessee Valley Wrestling for limited appearances. In fact, Jesse Wild is at Tennessee Valley Wrestling right now. As I'm told, he's taking on one half of the AAWA Tag Team Champions, Long Haul Ben Cooper, right now. Smoke tried to go for some sort of move there, but it's reversed by Dallas. Oh, a nice kick to the back. Oh, Smoke's not having none of it, though. The superstar is poised and ready. Oh, he is tired as tomorrow night he'll take on none other than Anthony Turner in a grudge match at Kansas City Clash for KCPW. Oh my lord, AJ Dallas. The color, one, two. Only a two count off that half and half suplex backbreaker, my god. Kick to the gut connects. Another one. AJ has him up. Oh, there we go. And the cover. One, two, three. AJ Dallas picks up the win. He didn't even need the cradle shock. So Dallas picks up the victory here. As I know he wanted to get back in the win column, and I'm sure he wants to... Get another crack at Scout Race for that Central States Championship. As we will find out 
in the coming weeks who will face Scott Race for that title. But folks, before we get to our next matchup, we have a brief recap video for you of all of the things that have led up to J.C. Baker and Evan Flynn and why they are both suspended until March Madness. So last week we saw AAWA or AAW commissioner and president R.T. Dangerfield come out on HCW television and explain that. AJ Dallas, however, victorious here. Gentlemen, we'll be back after these messages with that recap package for you. Stick right with us. If you have been affected by COVID and are in dire need of food in the Old West, look no further than Duncan Trading Company. We'll deliver somewhat fresh meat to you as quick as we can. Duncan Trade Company. If we don't get it to you on time, then, well, we're probably dead. Fuck you, wolves. Fuck you, wolves. How you doing today, sir? Here's your shipment, Duncan Trading Company. Delivers on time as promised. Hi, welcome back to Jim Marvel's Marvel. As you can see here, we got this nice Ford Focus. And let me tell you, I sell honest prices at honest rates. Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal. Now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks, we got bad trucks. I'm seeing this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm going to sell them like wildfire. I'm going to sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm going to sell them as fast and quick as I can. Suplex the trifecta. In by Sarah oh, What's this? JC Baker backstage getting in the face of Evan Flynn. Oh, a right hand. Folks, we're going to stick with this match as long as we can. Here. Here comes the, com the president of the AAWA now. To inform you that the current HCW heavyweight champion, the second generation sensation, J.C. Baker and Evan Flynn have both been fined $4,500. And both are suspended from any AAW action here in HCW or in any other ring until March Madness in one month. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back as Death Ram and Wade York, what a team this is, are getting ready to do battle against the current HCW Tag Team Champions. And here come the Fortunate Sons. No surprise who they'd be facing. The Fortunate Sons saw who won the number contendership match last week. It was the Royal Blues in a hard-fought match against the Outlaws. 
So the fortunate sons are looking to get another W in the win column here. So there's Leonard Griffin right there from Leeds, England. The Canadian Spider from Vancouver, British Columbia. Jesse or Jordan Marks, and there's the Texan, Austin Dynamo from Dallas, Texas. And lurking around somewhere as well as the man from Grand Rapids, Iowa. Or Cedar Rapids, Iowa, my bad. Joshua Osborne. I don't know where he's at. But the Fortunate Sons are ready to go. Death Ram's ready. Austin Dynamo is most certainly ready. And here we go. It's tag team competition. It's Dynamo starting off hot, just tossing Death Ram around. Death Ram will be taking on Peter Sinclair for the KCPW Championship at Kansas City Clash. There's a big dropkick right there by Austin Dynamo. Tags in Leonard Griffin. And Jordan Marks and Jess, or Joshua Osborne love what they're seeing on the outside. And a, oh, you're a Nagi. Not quite what he uses to put his opponents away. With him, you've got to watch out for the sight effect. He connects on the long trip across the ring. Picks him up, kick to the gut, and a nice clubbing blow to the back. Sends Death Ram spilling to the outside. Tag into Austin Dynamo. As Death Ram tries to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring. Dynamo gets back in the ring. He goes right after Wade York! Oh my lord! Wade York had uh, not been tagged in. He was not the legal man. Death Ram responds with an uppercut. There's an unfazed Austin Dynamo. Did not seem to appreciate it. Now Death Ram is stomping away on him. Picks up Dynamo. And it'll be a neck breaker. So maybe that's the rally that Death Ram needed. Form shiver. Oh, that was a mistake. And now Dynamo just working that arm of Death Ram. We'll see if he's going to be 100% for KCPW. KCPW's Kansas City Clash as he does take on Peter Sinclair. Kick out there by Death Ram. That's why I was saying he does take on Peter Sinclair, who has won the admiration of the Fortunate Sons after a win over Joshua Osborne and putting up a hell of a match against Jordan Marks as here comes Wade York now. And yep, that's about what I thought would happen. The Fortunate Texan having none of it. Big boot connects. Oh man, that may have knocked him silly. Now knees to the back. See, so points at him like, this is my competition. Here comes the lunatic from Leeds, England. Nice back suplex right there. Leonard Griffin is a 14-year veteran here in this business. He has faced a lot of legends when it comes to HCW. So he has the distinction of being one of the final matches for Henry Jones, a multiple time HCW heavyweight champion. In the early 80s. However, Griffin obviously did not get a start in the early 80s. Henry Jones just had a long career here. Griffin was able to run into him about a second year in the business. Nice kick to the gut by Griffin. He'll trip and oh, ran down some punches. And the lunatic from Leeds going right at him. Forearm shiver. York had him. No. Drop toe hold. 
Sends him face first. A reversal by Wade York. Snapmare kick to the back. And oh, a sleeper hold locked in by Wade York. And a reversal by Leonard Griffin. I'll send him into the corner. I don't like that. Oh, the reversal by York, however. Shoot him off into the ropes. Big atomic drop! So York is back on the attack now. And the tag into Death Ram. Why he's called Death Ram, I do not know. Other than he has the skull of a ram on his headgear. And mask. York back in as he's uh, fixated on the fortunate sons on the outside. Now I think he's going to... No, he tried to enact a little bit of revenge against Austin Dynamo. As he keeps trying, but keeps getting shoved down. York back on the attack on Griffin now. The reversal by Leonard Griffin. Now Griffin... No! Neckbreaker by York! York's very proud of himself right now. York's last two appearances was a... Lost to AJ Dallas and a loss to JC Baker. So are not losses to sneeze at, but still are not favorable for him. A big set out power bomb. And Jordan Marks loves it. He's York's on the outside. Griffin's going out after him. Right hand connected. Has him up high. Oh! Send him into the steps. Kind of four by the referee. So here come the fortunate sons. Come running over. And a nice snap suplex right there. A count of six by referee John Hesch. A count of seven. Griffin's still just working him on the outside. Eight. That one connects. A count of eight. A count of nine. Griffin's in the ring. And he's taunting as it's going to be another win for the Fortunate Sons. I am just disgusted at the amount of cheap tactics they've been having here in their matches. This wasn't originally what the Fortunate Sons were all about when they were founded. Or they were not founded by these four men. Uh, Leonard Griffin and Austin Dynamo pick up the win. Folks, after this, we're going to have Chris Crystal in action. Stick right with us. You do not want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages from Jim Marvel's Marvelous Motorville. Welcome back to Jim Marvel's Marvel. As you can see here, we got this nice Ford Focus. And let me tell you, I sell honest prices at honest rates. Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal. Now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks, we got bad trucks. I've seen this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm going to sell them like wildfire. I'm going to sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm going to sell them as fast and quick as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW Television. As the proper gentleman, Ace Ellis, is now in the ring. So he gets ready to do battle against Chris Crystal. And 
which is well, all I gotta say is good luck ace you're gonna need it as here comes crystal himself and when it came to the shiniest of gems and the basically He's the best polished wrestler in his own opinion. It's hard to argue against it. He has boasted wins over J.C. Baker, Jordan Marks, Colt Storm, Brett Lear, Austin Dynamo. He's one of the oldest members of the HCW roster, one of the original 15. And sadly, several are no longer with us. Maiden voyage here to YouTube the first time around. But nonetheless, Chris Crystal is ready to go. AJ or Ace Ellis is ready. And Crystal is cocky as ever. And he's towering over Ace Ellis. But the reversal by Ellis just drops out of the suplex attempt. Now Crystal's gonna slow him down with a little bit of mat-based wrestling. Chris Crystal was a very accomplished amateur wrestler in the cover. Oh, the one count. Very accomplished amateur wrestler. He attended the University of Iowa for wrestling. And nice gourd buster right there. He is just nothing else but an excellent competitor. Right hand connects in the corner and a kick to the gut. Has him up and alley-oop slam connects. Well done there by Chris Crystal. Big right hand connects on the cover. One, just the one count. Of course Ellis is in deep trouble right now and is Crystal you gotta do when it's crystal, you gotta worry about the crystal clear. It's a very, very devastating maneuver as I've unfortunately been on the receiving end of one back in my days when I was competing here in HCW. It was a very brief time, but I still competed nonetheless. I uh, won the hardcore title once, that was nice. I won the Central States title once. That's about it, though. Otherwise, I lost a lot. It's a Cold Storm, RT Dangerfield, Chris Crystal, Jacob Baker, JC Baker, Jacob Lassiter, Alan Thomas, Bulldog, Big Bad Bobby Brown. The list goes on, honestly. The amount of people that I lost to. And a cross face now applied by Chris Crystal. I'm kind of surprised to see him go for a cross face here. Not one of his usual moves. And Ellis fights out of it. Almost probably because uh, I've never seen Crystal really win. A cross face, a nice drop toe hold there by Ace Ellis. Chris Crystal. Lost a loser leave HCW match to Jacob Lassiter. He left and found out Los Angeles wrestling in LA. He's returned to HCW for one simple reason, he said. Oh my lord, well, that might be one of them. That ain't the reason, but it's still a devastating move. One, two, three. He doesn't even need the crystal clear. He'll just put him away with a black hole slam. So, Crystal picks up the victory here tonight. Well done to him. All congrats as uh, he's not done here. Oh, dang it, Chris. Folks, we'll be back. This is just despicable.
These are just some of the things that you can expect here at Platt Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. Located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri, we are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll-free number, 800-298-3950. To schedule an appointment today because at Cot Counseling, we care about our customers, not about our customers' money. Overhand punches by Bones and an uppercut gets him! Shot goes in! Rust to the front again. Score! Jenner, Jenner, score! Jenner to Levi! Score! It's up one over the Manson. Manson, score! Jardella shot, shot, SCORES! Bryant! To Perron, SCORES! Over to Rust, Rust a shot, SCORES! Perron gets hit, gets over to Rust, Rust, SCORES! By himself, over to Jardella shot, SCORES! Hey, 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 Kansas City! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, as it's now time for our main event of the evening. The open challenge for the HCW YouTube Heavyweight Championship. As here comes none other than the challenger. Oh, Art Culver has answered the open challenge. We haven't seen him in a bit. This time we saw him was actually none other than the Great American Battle Royal. Of course he lost because any asshole like himself should lose. Bart Culver's back. He's still mad about his Iowa State Cyclones having a horrible year in basketball. And he doesn't even talk college basketball to me because he said he doesn't want to talk to a traitor. I am, of course, a fan of the University of Missouri. I don't know how we're the traitors, but okay. Buck Culver's ready. He's answered this open challenge here. So he'll await the champion, Harris Saban. And here comes Harris. Saban, the current HCW YouTube champion, beat Seraph last week for the title belt. And he'll take on Bart Culver in his first defense. We'll see if he is more successful than Seraph and Zach Albright were, who were winning and losing on their first defense champions. We shall see. Saban's ready to go. He should be, and whenever Saban's in the ring, you gotta watch out for those devastating knee strikes. He is one of the hardest hitters HCW has. Well, the folks here in the HCW arena here in Liberty, Missouri are all excited. There's that HCW YouTube championship. In all of its glory, simplistic glory, but glory nonetheless. As they're doing the introductions here in the arena. I'm sorry we no longer have the PA feed to any of the arenas. As Bart Culver's just been announced, he gets a nice ovation from a large amount of Iowa State fans that are here in Liberty. And his opponent's the high flyer from Huntsville, Alabama, the current HCW YouTube champion, Harris Saban, who gets a very loud reaction from the fans here in the HCW arena. They love themselves some Harris Saban. As he takes a look at that HCW YouTube championship, could it be the last time he holds it? As it's shown to Bart Culver, he's ready to go. He wants to capture that. That'll be his first title here in HCW. That's what they're fighting about here tonight. It's all on the line right here. Bart Culver's ready. Harris Saban's ready. 20 minutes on the clock, and here we go! It's our main event of the evening! And Saban's starting off strong with that knee strike to the back, so 
immediately what you had to worry about with Harris Saban is already coming in. Oh! Cover and a one count off that flapjack. Culver up and a nice chop right there. Takes down Saban. Now if I'm Bart Culver and I don't ever want to think about becoming Bart Culver. I'm in there with Harris Saban. I, of course, have to go after those legs of a cutter. I would want to go after the legs of Saban. These two miss it. Another cutter. Slips through. Oh, that was clean. Well done there by Culver. However, it's uh, all for naught would appear we have a minute elapsed here <laughs> oh my lord the power of Saban and gentlemen I've just received word next week on HCW Danny Fuller will return to action also next week on HCW oh a big knee strike by Saban also next week on HCW will have the return to singles action of Joshua Osborne, the newest member of the Fortunate Sons. As I'm told, he's going up against Jesse Justice. So that'll be a special match for all of you. The two members of warring factions will go at each other. The Outlaws and Fortunate Sons collide, but not in the way we all thought they would. I said Bulldog Lewis Hughes will be in action next week. Jesse Justice versus Joshua Osborne as well. And we'll also see the return of Rachel Post to singles action. A Terminator knee strike right there by Saban. So a stacked week next week and much more as well. The cover one, two, only a two count. So he's able to kick out of the Terminator knee, which still means he's got to avoid a 450 splash. Nice suplex right there. Oh, Culver's back up immediately, however. Put gets met by a big boot, and Saban's going up top. Three minutes elapsed here in this main event. No! Oh, he goes for a shooting star press. Now he goes up top to another turnbuckle. 450 splash! Saban just wanted to put a little extra oomph on it and try and put Culver down. The cover. One, two, three. The first fall belongs to Harris Saban. Now a combination here by Bart Culver. Nicely done there. Whenever Bart Culver's in the ring, with him you gotta worry about that Cyclone Brain Buster. As he ejects. Harris Saban going off the ropes. Oh! Wrecking ball drop kick, and now he's just pressing down on the chest and stomach. Saban, four minutes elapsed so far in this main event contest. Remember, two out of three falls rules here in championship matches of HCW. And he slips underneath again, but it's a rope break, unfortunately, for him. No submission available as here it comes. Oh! Cyclone Brain Buster. Knee drop right there. I don't think he's done with him yet. Big knee strike of his own. Nightmare takeover. He's just pressing those knuckles right into the. Oh! Five minutes elapsed here in this championship match. Culver picks him up. Another combination on its way. Up against the ropes. Nice. Clothesline takes him down. 
Mark Culver picks him up. Now he's going for it again. He's hitting it for the third time. Saban can't quite reach the ropes. Will he tap out here? Can't imagine that he would. No, says the referee. And Saban fights out of it. Saban now with a submission of his own. It's a sleeper hold. And he's wrenching that one. Every which way. Must be trying to dislocate a vertebrae. In the spine of Culver. And another combination here by Culver. He knows it's working. Over six minutes elapsed in this contest. And Saban goes to the outside of the ring to catch his breath. He's immediately back in. And he points that he's number one. Oh, big chop! That celebration got rudely interrupted there. Culver has him in the corner. One chop, and what's he going for here? Oh! Nice job vaulting out of the corner. And now Culver's going up top. Elbow drop from the top rope! Seven minutes elapsed here in this contest. The reversal. All right, Culver, and a nice calf kick right there. What is, oh my goodness, the power of Harris Sabin. His one right hand is stronger than most guys, but his knee strikes are even deadlier. Dumps Culver out of the ring. He'll go out to join him. Nice clothesline right there by Saban. And he'll get him back in the ring. At the count of three. Stopping the referee's count. Still 1-0 Saban. Eight minutes elapsed so far in this contest. He must have two out of three falls to win this match. Or have the most falls. And a time limit ends here. Saban has him up, no reversal, and a neck breaker by Bart Culver. Dropkick connects, that was a beautiful one too. And Culver's all fired up. Oh! Quick jab with the right elbow, Terminator knee strike! I think that's all she wrote for Bart Culver. One, two, no, a kick out by Bart Culver at two. Culver refuses to stay down. And the Terminator knee strike isn't nearly doing what it used to do. Nine minutes gone in this contest. Kick to the gut. Oh! Pump handle gut buster is beautifully done there. And that left arm closed line. Was also done quite beautifully by the high flyer from Huntsville. Oh! What a reversal by Culver as Saban ran right into the toe of Culver. And I think it'll be another wrecking ball drop kick. It is! Beautifully done once again by Culver. Was, oh my. Oh, power bomb! Saban just unloading everything he's got on Culver now. As he sends him into the stairs. As we are now halfway through this contest. Saban back inside the ring. Only to go him out the other side. I think he's not quite done with Culver. Culver, however. Oh, he's playing in the crowd and they are letting him have it. Stomps on the knee of Saban, which is exactly what you need to do. Into the steel steps. Count of five by referee John Hesch. 
count of six now. So Culver's just maliciously. So oh, the reversal by Saban. And he gets him back in the ring. Well done by Harris Saban. He has really respected the rules of all matches here in HCW, honestly. As he has not taken a count out victory. He has him up. Power bomb with a sit out. 11 minutes elapsed in this contest. So when I thought they couldn't top last week's match, hey, Saban couldn't top last week's match, him and Culver are doing just that right now, putting on another clinic and a classic in the HCW YouTube Championship Division. It's an open title, an open challenge title. Anyone can buy for it. Terminator knee strike again. He'll go for the cover. One, two, three, and Saban wins with a Terminator knee strike, and he retains his HCW YouTube Championship against a very game Bart Culver. He put up quite the fight here tonight. Remember, Bart Culver is still winless here in HCW, which brings a large amount of joy to my eyes. Nobody honestly should like that schmuck. He once set a trash can on fire to, quote, set off the alarms so he could have the arena to himself. What a jerk. But Saban's the victor. He'll retain his HCW YouTube Championship. Folks, that's all the time we have for you today. From all of us here in HCW and B-Card Entertainment, I'm the engine Brock Gorton. We are three weeks away from HCW March Madness. Good night, everybody!